Hello and welcome back to another photography adventure on what is an absolutely stunning evening here in the Scottish borders. The sky looks amazing, the sun is just setting. This vlog is going to be quite different to the normal sort of photography I do. Um, tonight I have been invited to an event uh, organised I think by Abbotsford Sir Walter Scott Foundation and Event Scotland. The actual event is to celebrate the 250th anniversary of Sir Walter Scott, who is a famous Scottish poet, playwright, uh, historian from way back in the day. So this event is to celebrate the 250th anniversary of his life. So what's actually happening is there's a guy called Andy McGregor who has designed a three or four minute projection which will be put onto the tower itself. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing how that looks. So this vlog is going to be a sort of combination of photography and videography over the next two or three evenings and I will also show the full video, the full projection within this vlog. Hey! Okay, we're almost there. Well, I've parked the car, grabbed myself a nice cup of peppermint tea, and I'm gonna walk up through the field here and find myself my position to shoot for the evening. And you won't be able to see the tower just now. There's the tower, standing proudly on the hill behind me. And on this side, we have beautiful sunset going on. Magic, magic. Well, I've found my spot, I'm all set up, and the sky is absolutely incredible. Um, we're almost at that optimum time for shooting now, so I'm gonna put the camera down, get cracking with my shots, and I hope you enjoy the show. It is here at Sandy now in the residence of my paternal grandfather that I have the first consciousness of existence. My own enthusiasm was chiefly awakened by the wonderful and the terrible, the typical taste of children. I had always perused the usual, or maybe ten times the usual number of fairy tales, eastern stories and romances. I cannot easily forget the rapture with which I sat up, reading by the light of a fire. I wished I had the lamp of Aladdin, or the tapestry of some other eastern magician to fly away upon. My head was on fire for chivalry. I had an early partiality for the tales of my country and uh, an intimate acquaintance with its wildest places. O oh, Caledonia stern and wild, meet nurse for a poetic child, land of brown heath and shaggy wood, land of the mountain and the flood. The love of solitude was a passion of my early youth. When in my teens, I used to fly from company to have visions and imagine airy castles of my own. Show me an old castle or a field of battle, and I was at home at once, and I filled it with its combatants in their proper costume. Then rise those crags, that mountain tower, which charmed my fancy's wakening hour. But I have remained a child even unto this day, and thus 
I decided to make my bread by storytelling. And honest bread it is. I will dig in the mines of my imagination to find diamonds. These are magic leaves we spread. It is here at Sandy now, in the residence of my paternal grandfather, that I have the first consciousness of existence. My own enthusiasm was chiefly awakened by the wonderful and the terrible, the typical taste of children. I had always perused the usual, or maybe ten times the usual number of fairy tales, eastern stories and romances. I cannot easily forget the rapture with which I sat up, reading by the light of a fire. I wished I had the lamp of Aladdin, or the tapestry of some other eastern magician to fly away upon. My head was on fire for chivalry. I had an early partiality for the tales of my country and uh, an intimate acquaintance with its wildest places. O oh, Caledonia stern and wild, meet nurse for a poetic child, land of brown heath and shaggy wood, land of the mountain and the flood. The love of solitude was a passion of my early youth. When in my teens, I used to fly from company to have visions and imagine airy castles of my own. Show me an old castle or a field of battle, and I was at home at once, and I filled it with its combatants in their proper costume. Then rise those crags, that mountain tower, which charmed my fancy's wakening hour. But I have remained a child even unto this day, and thus I decided to make my bread by storytelling, and honest bread it is. I will dig in the mines of my imagination to find diamonds. These are magic leaves we spread. As always guys if you enjoyed this please drop down hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell your support really does help my channel to grow thank you for joining me on this very different adventure and i shall see you on the next one